in the old days, art history was you memorize a bunch of slides, you identify them on a test, and you answer short answer questions, and it emphasizes a lot of memorization. And as my teaching has evolved over the past 20 years, I, I want students to synthesize more the material, um, put the pieces together, and not just memorize. My name is Dr. Mark Stansbury O'Donnell. I'm Professor of Art History at the University of St. Thomas and also Associate Dean for the College of Arts and Sciences. This past fall I was teaching a course, Women in the Ancient World. Basically getting tired of kind of the PowerPoint presentations. I mean, they're, they're useful, but everybody does PowerPoint presentations. So the True Scribe was kind of change in medium and I thought that would be uh, an interesting experiment for the students to try a different way of presenting the information and maybe in the process they focus more on the information that they're conveying because it's a format that they're not really used to. What was most interesting about the project was that the student rather than being a writer or a presenter with the paper or PowerPoint uh, essentially became more of a director. The quality of the videos in general was, I think, higher on par um, than the normal sort of PowerPoint presentations. And some were actually quite creative in terms of working with their script or finding interesting glyphs to mix with the images from the ancient world that they were using in it. So I think that kind of creativity was something you wouldn't see so much in, in a PowerPoint presentation. It's very kind of cut and dry. I think they became more aware of the words they were using in the process because they have to type a script and they have to be economical in order to fit within the, the constraints, but they have to pick which word to illustrate and they have to cue that. So which word is the most important? Um, and then if you pick a word uh, like ancient, what is an image that that conveys ancient to a viewer and if you have several different possibilities um, you know what what might those be uh, and which would be the most effective glyph to kind of convey that image what's nice about the software is you can make that change fairly instantaneously and then you have the result and so you go back to your director's role and you can try to figure out, well, which, which is the most effective way of communicating my overall point. From my perspective, um, yeah, I could learn how to do a video, um, but that's time consuming. Editing is a complicated process, so something like TrueScribe is more simple and straightforward um, and user-friendly for somebody like me who does not want to master yet another piece of software. I don't want to spend eight hours honing this message about, you should really write something down if I repeat it because it'll be on a test. But if I can take 20 minutes and have some nice animation and, um, and put, post that on Blackboard or uh, whatever's for the students to see, that, might be, that, that would be time well spent that could reinforce the message well.